another one. Yes. I see you're looking at the plans. Do you want to tell us what those plans are? Yes. These are two sets of plans. The small sheets are the original plans dated 2003 for what the DCR plans to cut down and otherwise uh, do to this stretch of Memorial Drive. What are all those black circles? Black circles are the trees that the DCR plans to take out. Uh, when we uh, when we go uh, to the next block, we can see them. If you look here on this sheet of the original plans, you can see that we're sitting here. Uh, underneath sitting these three trees? Underneath these three cherry trees that on the original plans uh, are marked to be eliminated. At the time in 2003, in 2003, the reason given for cutting these down uh, was that they were cherry trees and they weren't on the original plans for the so-called Cambridge Esplanade. The original plans being when? Uh, they date from the 19th century, the end of the 19th century. They were drawn up. We're talking about the 1800s. 1800s. The construction documents actually probably date from 100 years ago after the Charles River was dammed in 1906. So my guess is that before the river was dammed and at the time they made the plan, they had plants for trees and many of the trees they had wouldn't have survived this long and now we have new trees here and because these trees weren't in the original plans, they are on the 2003 plans to be eliminated. Yes. Because the, they weren't here a um, hundred years ago. Well, they weren't part of the original planting plan. Said not to be part of the original planting plan 100 years ago. And all those trees in the median down there. Yes. That must provide a nice buffer of uh, sound for uh, are those tennis courts across the street. Uh, that I think. Uh, I don't know what that is. I think that's. Uh, but those, that, that group of trees down there would certainly provide um, protection from the wind yes, and the weather. Most of them are, are scheduled to be removed, both in the 2003 and in the 2003 plan. So right across the street there is the turnpike. It's the uh, signal sign and... Uh, the Storo Drive yep. and the turnpike. Well, it's really beautiful to sit here under these trees. I mean, when the cars go by, it's loud. I'm sure that the trees uh, protect the sound barrier for the university. All right, so let's come back. So we're sitting under these uh, beautiful um, cherry trees. Yeah. And show me again those black circles. No, don't don't approach. Step back a little okay. bit. Okay. Yeah. These three are where we are now, and this portion of the plants is the water. Okay. Now show me the new drawings that you mentioned. Mm -hmm. That's okay, I will, I'll move. Okay. These plans are of the same place where we are now. The three trees uh, that we're under are these three within this rectangle. And... They're not black anymore. No, they're not black anymore. Why is that? That's because the DCR has for some reason decided that even though they weren't on the original plans, they may be allowed to remain. Well, Marilyn, so let me understand this. So they initially, so what we're going to do is we're going to turn around. Yep. So turn with me. Just, just, that's it. All right. 
The light's better this way. Yeah. So let me understand this. Originally, they were scheduled to be removed. Yes. Because it was inconsistent with the artistic or original plans. Yes. For this park. Yes. And what's the actual name of this park? Uh, the um, DCR is calling it the Cambridge Esplanade. I see. We're, we're calling it the median strip along okay. Memorial Drive between the Longfellow and... Uh, but originally this bridges. park was planned and planted, and is it protected? Uh, it's probably on the register, National Register of Historic Places. I think the whole thing, the whole length the whole, of it. The whole Charles River Reservation now, is. So originally they were going to remove them. Yes. But now they changed their mind. Yes. So it's not that they found uh, original drawings that um, included these trees. They must have some other reason for changing their mind. I suspect they do. Do you want to? I suspect that the public outcry over the removal of every cherry tree along the river here uh, prompted them to pull back a little bit. Uh, I think we can also assume, given what I know the DCR said uh, in 2003, that these will eventually be cut down, that the destruction will be in phases. So in this particular part of the plan... Now when they said that, did they say it in writing or was that at the meeting? I'm sure well, it was at a meeting. So uh, people raise questions, they writing. give answers that might be different from what's on the drawings. Right. So it's kind of... So they've gone to an incremental approach. Sorry? So now what they do is they go to an incremental approach where instead of showing the original plan of all the trees they're going to cut down, they show a plan that only shows some trees being cut down. Yes. And they call that a phase. This is definitely phase two of their Memorial Drive project. Whether there's Roughly a phase... Maryland, how much are they spending on this whole project? Six million dollars, I think. Uh, it includes, contrary to some statements the DCR has made, it does include economic stimulus money. 